So you join us on our final group ride of the year. Uh, we are in the Wester Ross area. We are doing Dundonnell to Kinloch U via the Shanaval Bothy. Uh, this is known as one of the last true wildernesses in the United Kingdom. Uh, we have like a 23 mile trip here, uh, a point to point, and there really isn't anything out here. It's, it is a proper wilderness. We are right out in the sticks, so hopefully none of us have any problems. But uh, yeah, we're getting, uh, getting back into nature properly, more so than most rides. Oh wow. Haha, <laughs> Ben, mine is on a bit scar band, a big rock slab. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it right there. Oh, nice. That's all just one big rock. So that one up there is Antilloch, which I thought was uh, miles away from here. Um, might do that one on foot one day. Pretty spectacular. And all the routes that I've seen avoid the single track. So we'll take the single track. <laughs> do you want to do it? I mean, you'll get down it. Yeah, I'll try it. Do you want to meet at the bothy then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anyone that wants to see the single track, I mean, you, and I'll just go. I'll just go the. If I'm not, if I'm not there in ten minutes after you, then just go without me. I'll be all right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> single track it is. I mean, if it's an absolute shit show within a couple of hundred yards, we'll turn around. No, it won't be. I've done that. I've walked out the the first bit. And it's all right. It's just the descent into Chenevel. I worried. I worry that it's just unrideable, but I don't right. know. You won't know until you try. Right, so we're 50 50 split. Yeah. Oh. Hey, that goes well. <laughs> Jesus. Do you know, you just can't convey in a video this. Yeah, I know, I know. Just bollocks, because that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Certainly not a high speed number, but nice and techy. Yeah, Tech C. I'm making that a thing. Never mind your dunk down country, this is Tech C. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Oh. Holy moly. Fuck 
Okay, I'm going down the hard bit. Not that bit. Kind of <laughs> no, that's asking for trouble, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I mean I'm having a slight remorse but look at that view we wouldn't have got this particular view if it wasn't for that trail yeah good to see the positives if you don't laugh you cry not much flow there was it <laughs> there we go so the end is in sight well the first stop is in sight Shanaval Bothy just down there Oh, flowiest trail ever. <laughs> so flowy. Oh, this is quite a fancy one. as bothies go. A few provisions. And upstairs as well. Looks like people are actually staying here today or tonight. Very nice. Well, here we go. Things should be a bit more flowy from now on. Oh yes! That's the game! <laughs> 3 out of 10 for effort! That should have got rid of some of the grinding paste in the drivetrain. That's good. Pretty wet. Reasonable. <laughs> so uh, I'm just making a beeline straight for this next building here that's not a bothy. Then from that point we join the main path and head to Pulley U. Like a ballerina going across there. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I hate my life! Hey come on, slap! <laughs> Nailed it. It's not any wetter than the, the bog. Bog's pretty wet. Bog's, bog's pretty wet. Funny that. <laughs> now this is the back of Antila. So we've come round the mountain. Now we're heading up this way and round the corner. Right, so I think that's the crap single track, the two river crossings and the bog walk 
done. So I think things pick up from now. Or I hope that they do anyway. I managed to get one bar of 3G somehow and found out that that mountain is called Bain Yerig Moor, which is pretty cool. I don't expect any signal from now on though. Well, truth be told, this has been quite a slog, even to this point. It's probably only a couple of minutes into the video, but yeah, I've done uh, 11k, 440 meters of climbing, uh, and we've been out for three hours 40. It's uh, quite a slog, so. I'll let you know at the end, or you'll be able to gauge if it's uh, worth it as an overall route or not, but right now it's feeling not fantastic, but the views are some of the best you'll get in this country. more path like there. That's better. I'm with you on the wish. I'm with you on the wish we think. <laughs> you fuckers. I thought you stopped at the top. No. <laughs> this is, this is here. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's just that push to the. That is the top there. Yeah, yeah. But that's a lot higher than here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I switched the camera on thinking I'll just go over here and then we'll see it all laid out before yeah. us. No. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, oh. Almost. We graph telling me. Another 50 meters or so in height. And then we go down. Thank goodness for that. It has been a long slog. Yeah, almost 14k, 817 meters gained. Four hours and 50 minutes since we left. And I see some boys are cycling. Been spoiled with the Cairn Gorms recently. I'm forgetting what true Scottish mountain biking is like. It's like this. Stuck my stomach. Stuck my stomach in for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> when, camera. Tell me when you're going to do it. <laughs> oh yeah, I've heard of that one. We are going down there. Then we get around the corner and uh, you might even recognise that section. Time to go. Got it, Bob. I'll drop in the ID, mate. No time. Why could the other side be like this? <laughs> <laughs> 